It's exciting for Partnership for Drug Free NC to be uh, receiving an award that recognizes both the value of what we've done and the importance that we've not only been accredited, but we have high he ethical standards, both for our employees and for the persons we're serving and for the general public. Because as a nonprofit, our shareholders are the public, persons that pay the taxes and persons that request our services. The reality is in our business is, a, is an amazingly challenging and difficult place. Families will know whether it's involvement with addiction and trying to intervene and recover, or it's having effective prevention services for adolescents making difficult health choices. There has to be a lot of integrity and trust in the work that we do. For persons to be out of control, to per for persons to have problems in their life and have to come in and share those problems, those short fallings, uh, the issues in their life that, that lead to them requesting treatment means that we're walking in a sacred place with them, that they're beginning a process of both recognizing that parts of their lives are out of control and that too, they need support and assistance to begin a life of health and recovery. We really are in the life-saving business, and, and that means there's a mutual commitment to supporting persons served as well as our staff people to do this vital work. It is essential that we practice what we preach, and that P alliteration I've used about policies and practice and people is woven throughout the fabric. So ethics is not a, a choice or a question du jour. It is part of what we do all the time.